Hello guys, welcome back to another warrior video. So in last video, I mentioned the skills of the warrior class, but I forgot to miss out some of the fairly important skills. So I'm going to go over it today, and as well as going over the mystic badges and soul badges that's available for the warrior class. So for the warrior class, you have a counter ability that does a bit that does almost double the damage as your right mouse button. So the counter activates when you have successfully blocked with your shield and the, when hit it regenerates 10% of your shield and 10% of your HP. So I'll show you here. So I attack this boss, I block. This the the move up here but as you can see you cannot recast it so it has a cooldown so you cannot spam it. And second one is this split and going over the shield. So you have two types of shield, the, the shield in basic stance and the shield in will stance for Ice Warrior. In basic stance, your shield recovers 5% of your HP every time you manage to successfully block up to 3 times and in will stance it changes to 10% rather than 5%. Your SS in will stance gets you out of will stance and this ability is like your Kung Fu Master uh, jump. So I'll show here. You have to block first, then tab activates, then you tab it. Like so. What it does is uh, within 8 meter range, you stun all enemies for 2 seconds, but it cannot be chained. And that's pretty much it and does some damage so next part I'll so I'll time to go over to cover the soul shield for the I mean soul badges for the warrior so here we are at the merchant that sells you the badges so your first one is your primal force badge whenever you use uh, soul burn and V they give you primal force effect stacking that lasts for 60 seconds. When you stack it for when you stack it two times, it converts to your sunset, which is a ability which gets you into will stance aim for ice warrior. So I'm assuming every time you use your soul burn and your V, they give you one stack each, but you have to use it within 60 seconds, otherwise they won't convert into sun stacks. This one is your lightning badge, the blue moon badge. It's the same thing as the primal force badge, but gives you 20 stacks of sacrifice when you use soul burn and V. So sacrifice is the stacks that you need to get to reach, to allow you to get into berserk stance for lightning build. Here is your PVP badges. So this one is your our uh, first PvP badge. Whenever you're using your C, so the ability that uh, resists or pulls, depending on which one you spec it, uh, reduces refreshes the cooldown of your three, so your knockdown that can be chained by uh, so you yeah so refreshes the cooldown of your three. This one is another one that so when using your the tab the jump tab. You are resist to all damage and CC within the next 1.5 seconds. Now we're going to go over to the other batch merchants since the Chinese server they sp split the door on different merchants, so you can't really get the best one at the start of the tier, which is kind of bad. So here is your other badge. So. This one is your um, Holy Fire Badge. So, the first cast of your F in your Lightning Stance, I'll show you. This ability, this is your first cast, and this is your second cast. So, 
when, the, when you use your first cast of your F in lightning stance, your V cooldown reduces by 1.5 second, and on the second cast, your full cooldown reduces by 1.5 seconds. This one is your Magnum badge. It reduces your right when using your right mouse button. It reduces the cooldown of your Moon Knight by 1.5 second on hit. One the first hit. This is your um, transcendent. No, not transcendent. Glo glory badge. So, no, no, yes. So this one is your eternity badge. So whenever you use your left mouse button in basic stance, either uh, element, you regenerate, you gain, you heal for another additional ten percent. This one is your transcendent badge. Your E gives you an additional fifteen k shield. Now we are going to the third and final place for the soul badges. So now the third place for your badge on the Chinese server. First one, your courage badge. Your extends your berserk by three seconds and your will stance by two seconds. That's all useful for both classes. This one is your Illuvian badge that when your uh, your counter hit, so that's your one, then successfully block the one that it allows you to use one again. So that when it hits, it reduces the cooldown of that ability by five seconds, regenerates ten percent shield, and increase your crit by twenty percent for six seconds. And your next tier, next badges are first one, Glory. When your second hit of F hits for the first time, it reduces the cooldown of your first hit F by 0.4 seconds. When your right mouse button hits for the first time, it reduces the F in Berserk mode by 0.4 seconds. And finally, this one, your Sagewood badge. When your F hits for the first time, you had 25% chance of gaining an additional Moonlight stack. So Moonlight stack is the stack that allows you to use your disability in uh, Ice Stance, Ice Element I mean. So without the Moonlight stack you cannot, cannot use this ability so it's RNG based so it really affects your DPS by a lot. So now we are going to look at the mystic badges for your your warrior. So starting from the top, we have a Skyrift badge. So Skyrift badge, when you use your four in lightning stance, you gain Skyrift effect for 12 seconds. On your first F clock cast, your F does additional lightning damage. Um, which is equivalent to 750% of your AP and your second F cost starts 650% additional lightning damage based on your AP. This one is your Pulse Mystic Badge. Using your V for gives you Pulse Effect for 12 seconds. Your F, so that is your disability. 
少东西可以用仙桃兑换，你们来看。呃，我说，我要喝，麻烦您快点。So your F does four hundred percent additional than ice damage based on your AP. Now moving on to the red badges. First one is Ignima. Using V, it gives you Ignima effect for effect. During in lightning stance, your four gives you on first hit. 1,650% of additional lightning damage based on AP. In Ice Stance, it gives you your four gives you an additional 750% additional ice damage based on AP as well. Second one is the Revelation Badge. When using your left mouse button, so both element in basic stance, gives Revelation effect. Your right mouse button, both in basic stance. And both element on first hit gives you additional elemental damage based on 440% of your AP. Moving on to the Aransu and Dynasty badges. Yes, um, your Aran your Aransu and Dynasty badge they give you Black Wing Sovereign, like your Warlock, but it's the buffed version of the Warlock Black Wing Sovereign since it gives yourself uh, additional uh, damage on abilities, but the Warlock is getting the Soul badge reward the. Uh, VT the, the VT badge we were coming soon to NA, not sure when. So the first one is your Aransu badge. Aransu badge gives you Black Wind Soul Burn for all party members and adds a four hundred percent that additional damage based on AP. It also increases the crit chance. By twenty five percent. For so when you use your right mouse button in berserk mode, you gain a blood rush effect. The blood rush effect does three hundred twenty percent lightning damage based on AP in an area. Using your first cast of F or second second cast of F or your F in berserk mode gives you. Mad rage. I'm not sure the exact translation, but in the Chinese saying, it just means the next level rage. So it does 780% additional lightning damage in an area. Mad rage ignores defense and deflects counter. I mean, and penetrate penetrates to defense and deflects counter. Here we have the dynasty badge. So same thing, the black wing effect. So all party members gain a black wing effect is um four hundred percent of additional damage based on AP. Black wing gives increased crit chance by twenty five percent. So the change is in ice stance when you use your F disability. You get a、uh, the light shine effect. Another weird translation. Your light shine effect does 375 percent ice damage based on AP in an area. Using F in will stance. So this ability will give you、uh, another effect called light wing. So it targets around. Within four meter range of the target you hit, uh, 
light wing will hit five times, dealing in the area 1,500% of lightning uh, of ice damage based on AP. When using your right mouse button, in will sense the charging ability around you this time. For five in within five meters, you also gain light wing effect. The light wing effect this time does an area damage, which is equivalent to three thousand seven hundred fifty percent of ice damage based on AP. Your light shine and light wing ignores defense and counter. And that's my coverage of the badges for warrior class. I do not think I will continue on making any more moral videos until it releases on the NA server that's cause that's when I'll be leveling it up so for the Chinese server I did some leveling so I could now get a sense of idea how the warrior plays so I managed to get from this tier so your song dragon quote unquote so it's essentially free up till stage 11. So when I got to stage 11, I had to farm for materials in um, dungeons to get to my stage 12 and stage 12 to uh, your next race skin of the Storm Dragon War weapon. Also spent bought some gold to get my uh, this stone, which is equivalent to your Raven effect. Ice, ice ring, uh, BT ice ring, earring, this necklace, uh, so it's pretty much the oath icon of the oath necklace on NA, but for Chinese server it's an elemental necklace that's useful for all class, bracelet, belt, glove, solar glove that's given from story, pet given when you create a level 50 character, bought this in the F10, which is your second soul, and this one I bought it as well. So this gem, it looks paper and yes, it is. But you can actually, I got it from the event that happened when the warrior class was on release. So yeah, and that's it. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.